Mark Twain Lake. A lovely place. This is little Susan Russian, Russian Sage. And this would be the Vista Center. And here's the dam. Busy Beaver. Mischievous Raccoon. You look at this ceiling lamp. Here it is, the world's biggest life jacket. Get catfish. Shad. Largemouth bass. A walleye. And a smallmouth. Salt River Valley. History. Missouri Mural. Harry Truman was Susie. The Missouri Mural is the official state animal. That's good. Who knows Augustus Tolton? I don't know. Mark Twain, we know who he is. He's born in Florida, Missouri. Room 30, 1835. RFD. Hamilton St. Joseph Railroad. All right, here we go. As you will see, he's Grant. The Civil War. Their first assignment for Colonel Ulysses S. Grant was to protect the Hannibal and St. Joseph Railroad and the Pony Express during the Civil War. He was later sent to Monroe County, Missouri to help reconstruct a railroad bridge over the Salt River that the rebels had destroyed. Grant professed a, to learn an invaluable lesson during a short stay in Monroe County's campaign. Grant said that until then he never realized that the enemy was as much afraid of him as he was of the enemy. Look at this. Hats from Sears Roebuck for 49 cents. What a deal, huh? And I had one of these view masters when I was a kid. Rich in salt would bring forth new trade, new frontiers, and in time, flourishing rural communities. was slowed by the rising Salt River, running rapidly year after year, destroying lush landscapes and homes. The year 1831 sparked the beginning of a series of attempts to control the Salt River, proposals that for over the next century would never reach full form. Yet the dream of building a dam and reservoir was kept alive. Miles, wow. And this is Perry. Perry, Missouri. The 
looks like an old town. I was headed for Paris and I went up in Florida. This is a Mark Twain Memorial Shrine reference. We have furnishings from the various houses <clears throat> on display. A portrait of his daughter, Clara Clemens, in his carriage from Hartford, Connecticut. This is the original manuscript. Writing desk purchased in England. Team whistle, rope, lock and tackle, anchor, belaying pins, bell, anchor chain, and block. Mark Twain. I that the water was 12 feet deep. Painting is called High Water on the Mississippi. And here's the big wheel. And the bell. Mighty Mississippi. And this was entitled Low Water on the Mississippi. Florida, Missouri. Pretty humble house, not very big. Where is the kitchen? Is this the kitchen? I guess so. There's the lake. And today is another scorcher, hot and muggy. This is uh, Mark Twain State Park, and it's located within the lake area. And this would be historic downtown Florida, Missouri. Old buildings and RVs. Whole empty streets. But it's still a town. Look, they got a cannon here and an eagle. You can buy lots here. 
it's still a viable community. What's this right here? Winery and gift shop. Wow. And it's right on the lake. Not sure what that symbolizes. But here is the town of Florida, Missouri. In this village was born November 30th, 1835, Samuel Langhorn Clemens. Mark Twain, he cheered and composed a tired world and comforted a tired world. 